Man, oh man, that had to happen today. Okay guys, welcome back, another channel. Try not to die on this road. Oh man, the gauntlet, that's what I call this section of the road that I'm on. Uh, because it's always got traffic on it. There's always a ton of tractor trailers, semis on it, and there's like, it's only, it's like a half a mile, but in that half a mile there's seven lights. It, I, I hate business park areas. Calligraphy, I think we're done. I think. I, I, I don't think, I'm, I, I can't be guaranteed, but I think we're done. Um, and then ceramics, it's trying to get everybody, I need to light a fire under my students' behinds because, uh, they're under their backsides because so many of them are are just starting on glaze on some of their pieces and none of them have started on slabs and we're kind of in the slab section right now and it's and i'm like y'all gonna it's gonna bite somebody because you're not gonna have your stuff done on time other than that that was uh that was it the day in a nutshell really um i i always have good conversations with two of my classes one of my classes is is just trying to make sure that everybody does their work and cleans up their space that's kind of it's kind of that class in a nutshell all right so uh today in how not to suck at teaching we're going over the three-part lesson plan and today we're going to discuss the work time period so for the work time period you are creating an environment to where your students are going to be able to create the art the work that they're working on and and get it done in a proficient manner so what's the point of work time work time is i've given them a lecture i've given them some notes and they're on their own completing the performance or the project-based assignment now that i say performance and project-based assignment for work time just because a student is not engaged in work time activities if they're listening to you do a lecture or trying to well taking notes on a video I think should count because it's the student trying to uh, grasp that level of information or like a reading sub a reading thing where the students are reading a passage and discussing a passage I fully think that's work time um, <coughs> however there is something about lectures that at some point during during this whole process of lecturing you do have to throw it back on the student and let them take those reins of knowledge and say hey i know what direction i need to go in and then pursuing that path but if they're not pursuing that path what what's the point so work time should be at least half of the period uh sandwiched in between the opening and the closing you have your work time in there sometimes as much as three quarters for me it's almost 90 percent just because Work time for me is they come in, this is what y'all have to have it, this is what you guys have to have at this point today, this is what you gotta have completed, and then close at the end. Uh, that's that's my class in a nutshell, which for me is is what needs to happen, and for my students, that's what needs to happen. And I understand my students' needs and change my, somebody done threw away a box of KFC, woo! Uh, so, so that for me, in a nutshell, it's just trying to make sure that they are have quantifiable material that they can take, they can run with, they can emulate, or they can uh, manipulate into that knowledge-based situation that I'm trying to get them to learn something. So once all of that stuff is taken care of, all right, once, uh, once all that stuff is taken care of, then yeah, they're on their own. So work time should be focused on how are the students gaining their knowledge. I think that would that, that's a better concept for this. Uh, for this video. So how are you maintaining that knowledge for your student? How is your student growing in knowledge because of what you're teaching them? Uh, and that's that's work time in a nutshell. I think that's where we're going to end it today because I can, my brain's crispy. It's the end of the week for me and I'm going to go home. We're going to edit some videos and hopefully get some stuff posted uh, this weekend and see you guys next time on the channel or next class. Later guys.